today we're going to be taking a look at the Joytech Teros One. This product was sent to me for the purpose of this review. Let's go ahead, open it up, and see what it comes with. Inside of the package, you are going to get the Teros One device with a pod pre-installed. You're going to get this little e-liquid refilling bottle, a micro USB charging cable, and just want to point out that this is a type C charging cable, so I like to see that. You're also going to get this little lanyard for the pod system. You're going to get a quick start guide, which has the battery lead indicator information, how to turn on the device, and on the other side, how to fill the pod. You're also going to get a warranty card. And lastly, you're going to get the full Terrace One user manual. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Terrace One. And here is the Terrace One pod system up close. Let's go ahead and remove the pod first. So you do have this kind of smoky gray color, but it is nice and translucent and clear, even though it is kind of smoky colored. On the back of it, you do have the resistance and the wattage recommended wattage. I don't know why the recommended wattage is really there since it's a pod system, but I guess that's going to be the calculation for a 0.5 ohm coil. If we flip over the pod and look at the bottom, here's where your fill port is. As you can see, it is a push to fill, and that is why they included this little bottle. In case you have an e-liquid bottle that does not have a narrow tip, or for example, if you are happen to use a glass bottle dripper, you would need something with a small plastic nozzle to push to fill on this device. It also has this little clear cover protecting it, so we're going to need to remove that before we fill the device. And then we're just going to go ahead and fill it up. Now I'm going to be using some of the Dinner Lady Nick Salts in here. To fill the pod, you're simply going to push your nozzle down in, push, squeeze your bottle, and fill it. It fills up really fast and easily. One thing you do want to be cautious of is if there is any e-liquid remaining in that little cup, you do want to make sure that you wipe it out before you install the pod because you don't want e-liquid getting down into this part of the battery. So installing the pod is simple. It is magnetized, so you just kind of line it up there and it clicks into place. Now I will say that it is a little wobbly from side to side, but you can feel those magnets holding onto it. So the pod is definitely not going to like fall out if you're shaking it. Here on this side of the device is going to be the five clicks on and off. Again, you've already seen this side with the one, both on this side and over here, it says Terrace One. Flip it up to the bottom, there is your USB type C port. Let's go ahead and power on the device with five clicks. One, one, two, three, four, five and it's going to flash a green light. Now, when you fill these pods, you definitely want to let them soak and saturate for 10 minutes before you begin using the device. So while we're waiting on it to saturate, I'll give you a little bit of information. The battery is 650 milliamp hours. The pod capacity for e-liquid is 2 mLs of e-liquid. The coil inside is a mesh coil. They also have something on here that says child proof. Not really sure what they mean by child pr proof. Perhaps because you can power the device on and off. Also, the Terrace One does feature variable voltage. So you do have high power, medium power, which is going to be the default, and low power. Additionally, you also have the battery level indicator. When your battery level indicator says green, it is high, blue is medium, and red is low. So that's the Terrace One by Joytech. Let's go back up top, have a vape on it, and I'll give you my thoughts. And that was an up-close look at the Joytech Teros One pod system. So what are my thoughts? Well, first we're going to go over the pros. First pro on this is going to be fit and finish. Everything fits together really nicely. Feels really good in the hand. It is small and compact. So those are all pros in my book. The next pro on this device is going to be that it has a 650 milliamp hour battery. So for such a small little device, it is a good size battery. And it also has vape while charging and USB type C. 
all pros in my book. If you've watched previous videos, you know that I'm a big fan of USB Type-C just because I think it is a better connection, less likely to break the port, less likely to break the actual plug itself. I also like vape wall charging because we all have had it happen to us. We get caught with a low battery and we need to charge our device and it's really good if you can vape on it while it's charging. However, I do not recommend that you make a habit of it because it is more strenuous on the device. The next pro I have for this is going to be the push to fill on the pod. I love the push to fill. Just makes filling these pods really quick, really simple, big fan of push to fill. I also had their previous Taros, which you guys know I was a big fan of. They had, that one was quite different. They definitely made some really good positive upgrades to this one. But as far as the coil heads longevity, that is still really good. I really like the coil heads that they're using in here for longevity. Now I will note, as far as the flavor goes on these pods, if you're using a really fruity, pungent flavor, or a solid menthol, iced, whatever, tobacco flavors, those come through really well on these kind of pod systems. But if you're using bakeries and creams, more subtle flavors, those subtle flavors can get kind of lost in these little pod systems. So be aware aware of that. The next pro I have for this is it is five clicks on and off. So even though it is a vape activated or a puff activated device, you still have the ability to turn it off. And that is a big pro to me because one of the things that I talk about a lot in my videos is, you know, the puff activated versus push to activate and why I like one over the other. The main reason why I like push to activate devices is because that button is usually also an on and off button and I don't want my device to auto fire and with the puff to activate that can happen when you're storing them. But if you take a puff to activate device and add a on off button, that means that you can turn it off when you store it and you're never gonna have to worry about it accidentally firing because of the puff to activate sensor inside. So that makes this device a really big winner for me in that regard. Now let's talk about things I don't like about the device. Well, as far as functionality of the device, I like this device across the board. The only negative thing I have to say about it is they only include one cartridge and that's very subjective and that's more of just a recommendation to Joytech to include two pods in the box. I think for the price point, if you've got to up the price point another 50 cents or $1, do that. It's just really helpful for the customer, especially new vapors, which are more likely to gravitate towards these devices, to have that one extra pod on hand in case of a dead on arrival pod, which has happened to me. It has happened to me many times, and it's always handy when there's that second pod. So that's just a little bit of criticism, I guess, for Joytech. One thing I didn't show you yet is how it vapes. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So that is a mouth to lung on a completely cooled down coil. Normally when I'm vaping mouth to lung on cooled down coil like that, I like to give it a few puffs. I'll do that. I must say the mouthpiece is really comfortable. The mouth to lung draw on it is not super tight. Um, it is slightly loose, but I think that it, it's loose enough that you can still get kind of that sucking action. If you notice when I take a vape, my cheeks kind of pull inward. And for me, that's the perfect kind of mouth to lung. When you're cheeks are kind of pulled inward when you're taking a draw indicates a nice tight mouth to lung. This is not quite that because you can actually do a very, very, very restricted direct lung, but you have to let air in through the sides of your mouth. And I'll demonstrate. There you can get much more vapor production. It gets really warm rather quick when you do a direct the lung pull like that. It's really satisfying. Um, but I think this is something that would please both mouth to lung users 
And as far as direct to long users, only if you are used to really, really tight direct to long. This is not open in any way. It is a very tight, restricted type pull device, which I find really satisfying. So that's my thoughts on the Terrace One by Joytech. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, click that subscribe button. And by the way, I'm almost at 8,000 subscribers. So thank you very much to every one of you out there that are subscribed to me for helping me get closer to that goal. Have a great day, you guys. Bye-bye.